Hi y'all, it's Barbara from Divine Creative Love and today I'm so excited to bring you this new tutorial on Romans chapter 12 verse 12 which says rejoice in hope, be patient in affliction, be persistent in prayer or as the NIV translation says be faithful in prayer. So this has been one of my favorite verses recently it's got me through a lot of tough days and it's just such a good reminder. So I have this stamp set, which I will link in the description below. Uh, it's from Sweet and Sassy Stamps and it just has these words like hope giver that remind us uh, that God is our source of hope. He's the reason that we can be patient in affliction or faithful in prayer. And then I've got this anchor from another set that I want to use to represent hope along with the flowers. And I hope this gives you some ideas that you can use um, to journal on your own for Romans 12.12. 12. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm speeding up the video. This whole process took me uh, about over an hour. And if you watched any of my other videos, you know Gelato's is one of my favorite uh, Bible journaling supplies. It's one of my favorite ways to start off the page just because it's so translucent and it works really well to color like the background and it doesn't cover up the text. So I'm just starting off with some gelatos on this page. I chose the color blue and this is from the iridescence gelato set. And it's worth noting uh, I'm using the illustrating bible so I did not prep the page at all. I'm just, I just put a cardstock paper behind the page just to protect the page behind it but I didn't prep it at all, so this uh, gelatos is going straight on the paper. So all I did was just mix it with water. Uh, you can also use gelatos without water. You can kind of smear them on the page like pastels, but they will be thicker that way. Um, so if you want the translucent look, it's best to mix them with water first. And I'm just using another piece of cardstock to cover the margin, so I'm not getting any color on the margin for this. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of color along the edge of the margin, so I'm leaving just like a white space in the margin for where the words will go. And you can tell there is a few places that I uh, did a little smudge, uh, got a little not as neat as I would have liked, but that's okay. You'll notice that there's always little smudges and things that don't turn out perfectly, but that's okay. And you could also use this uh, cardstock technique to make other shapes or uh, to cover up other parts of the page. Like if you wanted to paint just in the margin and not on the text, then you could cover up um, different parts of the page or make different shapes. But I just wanted the margin to stay white so the words that I put in the margin will show up better. And then I'm just using my heat tool to dry it quickly. You can see how the page does wrinkle uh, once it starts to dry, but that will smooth out. Like after I'm done, I usually close up the Bible and leave it closed for a few days to kind of flatten and smooth out the page. So the first thing I wanted to do is put some flowers down where the, I'm going to put the anchor at the top of the margin. So and the flowers were going to kind of sit behind the anchor. So I picked out two flowers from that stamp set. And that was the Bold Blooms stamp set from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. Uh, I'll uh, be sure and link to all these in the description below the video so y'all know where to find them. And I always like to show you the how I clean my stamps. So I just start out using a little uh, water to wipe off the excess ink. And then just recently I acquired this new stamp cleaner that I really like. It's a, a stamp cleaner from Alt New that uh, cleans off the leftover ink that usually may not come off with just water. So you can see like on the paper towel that's getting all that extra pink off. 
So I really like that cleaner. And then I decided to use purple for the other flower. And it's not going to matter that they're overlapping. So the anchor is actually going to go over the top of the two flowers, kind of in the middle. And then I've got this uh, Peace Be Still stamp set with the anchor in it that I wanted to use to represent hope. And I'm just going to stamp it on an index card and then cut it out and paste it over the flowers. And I'm using the archival ink for this one because I know I intend to uh, paint over it and get it kind of wet. So the good thing about archival ink is that it won't smudge or um, run when you when you paint over it. So if you want to do like watercolors or something. And then I usually use a special cleaner for the archival ink uh, just because it is um, a more permanent ink and it will stain the stamps more. And then I'm going to use these ink tints pencils to color in that anchor because I wanted like a really kind of realistic or kind of a rich color look for them. So these are really neat because you can color them like colored pencils, but then when you add water, it turns into more like an inky look. So I just got this gray pencil that I'm coloring in the anchor part with. So they just work. Like they look like colored pencils before you put any water with them. And I'm using those water brush and you can see how dark that's starting to look. It starts to look really cool. It's more like ink than the pencils and it has a really neat texture. So it's like, it really is like a cross between watercolor and colored pencil. And you can see here how huh? I wanted to add a little bit more color. It wasn't uh, it quite as dark as I wanted. And then I took this brown pencil to do the rope part of the anchor. So you can see how nice and rich that brown is showing up once I added water to it. Like the anchor is really turning out to be really cool. It is such a good representation for hope. Like Hebrews 6.19 says, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. So I'm just placing the anchor over the two flowers. So that's where it will go. That'll be one of the last steps is to actually glue it in place. But for now, it's, it can kind of get a picture of where it needs to go. And then I'm just um, writing the NIV uh, translation of Romans 12.12. 12, so that's the version that I have memorized. So that says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. And I should note that uh, the Illustrated Bible does come in an NIV version uh, now, but when I bought mine, uh, it, at that time it was only available in the Christian Standard Bible, the CSV version. So for the words, I'm using this Waymaker stamp set that I showed you earlier. Uh, it's got the words like hope giver in it that I really thought represents Romans 12:12 12, 12 well. So I chose hope giver and waymaker and it took me a second to decide what else I wanted to include. Um, ultimately I decided on miracle worker because the last part of the verse says be faithful in prayer and I thought miracle worker was appropriate because we're faithful in prayer and trusting God to act uh, however he sees fit on our behalf. So he is our hope giver, our way maker, and our miracle worker. And thus why we can be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. So for the first words, the you are my, I decided to make those in brown to kind of match the rope of the anchor. And I'm just using regular pigment ink for that. 
and then I decided to alternate the um, purple and the magenta and the purple for the rest of the words. So the fact that God is our hope giver, it uh, it's how we can be joyful in hope, like the verse says. He is our provider, our way maker, our, uh, our everything. So he's our, the reason that we can have hope, even when life might seem, you know, a little bit hopeless, or, you know, circumstances might seem too difficult, or, you know, confusing, or you don't know, you know, what the way out is going to be. Um, we always know that God has a plan, and that he's working on our behalf, so we can be joyful in hope, because he's our hope giver. We can be patient in affliction because he is our way maker through that affliction and we can be faithful in prayer because he is our miracle worker he's the one who can do all things so then I wanted to add this cute little God's got this stamp from that um, bold bloom set uh, there's another verse here that's uh, Romans eleven thirty six that says for from him and to him and through him are all things to him be the glory forever. Amen. So I thought that was really appropriate to put God's got this next to that verse because he really does have every detail of our lives in his hands. So I decided I wanted to add one more little sentiment there. I have this prayer time stamp set and it has the words Thank you, Lord, in it, and I thought that would be really appropriate. Uh, so it says, you are my hope giver, way maker, miracle worker. Thank you, Lord. And then the one thing that I wanted to do before uh, gluing that anchor down is to add some more color to those flowers. So I'm just taking some gel pens. I've got a glitter gel pen with the yellow for the little center of the flowers. And then I've got these other two uh, Pentel Slicky gel pens that are metallic. That uh, I really like how light colored they are so they would make a nice little contrast in those flowers. And then I'm just gonna color in uh, those flowers to give them a little more pop. You can see here how I'm not coloring in the whole flower. I'm just coloring in the parts that I know are going to show uh, around the anchor. So then I just went in with the purple color and I'm just coloring the part of that purple flower that's not being going to be covered up by the anchor.
before I glue that uh, anchor in place, I'm just making sure that everything's good and dry. Sometimes the gel pens can take a little while to dry if you don't uh, dry them or let them sit for a while. Uh, and then I'm just using a micron pen to underline that verse. The pigment micron pens are so handy for that. And then I'm just using a gel pen to add a little arrow to that uh, verse 1136. And then I have this art glitter glue that I really like for uh, gluing paper down. It's not too watery, so it works really well. It doesn't, uh, doesn't make the paper kind of wrinkle like some glues will. So you can see I'm just positioning the anchor kind of where I think I'm going to put it. And then you just need a little bit of that glue, not much. Just a little bit along the edges. And then just a little bit in the middle. Not very much. And then just um, smoothing it in place. And for the last and final step, I just wanted to add some of that uh, lighter gel pen color to the words giver, maker, and worker, just so they match the flowers. I hope this verse reminds you, as it does me, that I can be faithful in prayer and I can be patient with, with God's process for me or his plan for me. I can be joyful in hope you know, because I know he's got this. I can say, thank you, Lord, that you have my life in your hands. And I hope you can say the same. So here's the finished page. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It really is a celebration of this uh, Romans 12.12. 12. God is our hope giver, our way maker, our miracle worker, and thanks be to him that we can be joyful and patient and faithful. Even when life doesn't make sense, even when there's still unanswered prayers, even when things are messy, we know that God's got this, right? So that's why I'm, I'm really pleased with how this page turned out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, be sure and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future Bible journaling videos. Bye!